Welcome to this video lecture. Our topic is about the formula derivation of newton raphson formula using Taylor series expansion. I will write first the Taylor series expansion formula. This formula tells us that I will give you the value of a point in a graph which is point x plus h. This point is s away from other point in the graph which is point x. To illustrate this, suppose we have a straight line. And I have a point x. And then I have another point which is x plus h. So this point x plus h is h away from point x. Let's continue with Taylor series formula. As I said earlier, I will give you the value of point x plus h. If you will give me the value of a function f of x plus give me the value of the first derivative of a function f of x multiplied by h plus give me the value of the second derivative of a function f of x multiplied by h square divided by factorial of 2 plus third derivative of a function f of x multiplied by h cubed divided by factorial of 3 plus and so on and so forth. To illustrate this in a real graph that was set up in a coordinate plane, you will see like this. For example, I have a coordinate plane with horizontal axis as x and a vertical axis as f of x. And I have a graph, a graph like this. Now I have a point in a graph with coordinate x and f of x if I want to know the slope at this point in the graph I will draw a tangent line that will intersect the x-axis and I will name this intersection as x plus h which is h away from point x. So we will see 
that the right triangle have been created. So if we will use the trigonometric function tangent data, which is equal to opposite over adjacent or equal to rise over run which is equal to y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2 now tangent data is equal to y1 which, which is f of x minus 0 over x minus x plus x we know that tangent data is also equal to the derivative f prime of x so the equation will become f prime of x is equal to f of x minus 0 over x minus x plus x <coughs> So, cross multiplying, we have f prime of x times x minus x plus x is equal to f of x. So, x minus Therefore, x plus x is equal to x minus f of x over f prime of x. So this is the formula of newton raphson using Taylor series this Newton Raphson formula will give us an iterative solution but I want this formula to have slight changes with the name of the variables wherein I will make x to become an xi and x plus x to become xi plus 1 to illustrate this if we have a straight horizontal line wherein I have a point which is xi and I have another point which is xi plus 1 and the distance between these two points is xi plus 1 minus xi so rewriting this formula using the new variable the newton raphson formula will become
So what I did is directly substituting the new variables xi and x plus i. But I want also to show by substituting the new name of variables to Taylor series formula. So to rewrite the table ser the Taylor series formula using the new variables, we have So this is a Taylor series formula using our new variables xi and xi plus 1. But if I want to derive the newton raphson formula using Taylor series, the question is for what newton raphson used for? newton raphson is used to find the root of the function equal to zero. Therefore, f of xi plus one, this one, is equal to zero. Rewriting the Taylor series, the equation will become zero Since Newton Raphson is converging quadratically, we will consider only the first two terms of the equation. And we ignore the second derivative, the third derivative, etc. So the equation will become So evaluating this uh, equation, we will transpose this to the left side. Therefore, the newton raphson formula is
So this is a Newton Dropson formula. It was derived using Taylor series expansion formula. This is an iterative formula where xi is the initial guess value xi plus 1 is the new value of x. And f of xi the given function and f prime xi the derivative a function now we will solve one sample problem by using newton Raphson formula suppose we have an equation The derivative of this function is f prime of x is equal to 3x square. This is a problem wherein we already know the answer. If you look at the equation, x cubed is equal to 8. And solving for x, the answer is 2. Because 2 cube is equal to 8. Now let's try to solve this equation using Newton Raphson formula by iterative solution method. So we will make an initial guess for xi. Is equal to 4. For our first iteration, I will write first the Newton Raphson formula. For our first iteration, I will use x1 as new value. And x0 as initial guess value. So writing the equation, we have x1 
substituting the initial value we have I will solve this with my calculator. So the answer for x1 is equal to 2.833. So we need also to find the error between the initial guess and the new value so we have e1 to 4 minus 2.833 all over 2.833 times 100% So the answer is 41.2%. Now let's solve for second iteration. So x2 is equal to 2.221. For our error e2, So we will notice that the error will de uh, are, was decreased by large, uh, large amount from 41.2 to 27.56%. Now let's solve for our third iteration.
So x3 is equal to two point zero two one two for our error three. Error 3 is equal to 9.88%. So let's try another iteration. It is port iteration. So our export is equal to 2.0002. So this is our last iteration wherein we see that the answer is 2.0002 wherein we know the real answer is 2. So it is uh, near to the real answer. That's all. Thank you very much.